is called Brick for Kids, and it's a creative way to learn about problem solving and teamwork, and, and you don't forget the science. In tonight's Never Stop Learning Report, gather up some axles, a motor, and a gear or two, and it's amazing that you can actually build a working machine. Uh, that is, as long as you follow the directions. Push the whole thing together. Now, is everything touching? So, let's see if we have a working loop-de-loop. It works! These first graders are all smiles at Atkinson Elementary School. They're using Legos to build simple machines. In teams of two, they work together picking out the parts and assembling them. Wendy Land with Bricks for Kids shows them the 15 steps it takes to make the machine work. Now, some of the teams finish faster than others, but by the time the class is over, every loop-de-loop -loop is, well, looping. <laughs> It sounds confusing when you're talking about tech bricks and axles and all of these things and, and they're not used to that, but they have a picture and they have a picture in their kit and a picture on their plan and that's all they need to figure it out and they can do it. It was a fun way to learn because if you, um, if you w listen right, you'll do this. You have to follow every direction, and sometimes you don't have to get really mad if it doesn't work the very first time. You have to put it back in. Got to put it back in, and it seems the kids have just as much fun taking them apart and putting them back into the box. Wendy provides the students with all of the supplies, and each kit contains enough parts to build 60 different creations related to science. To find out more about the Bricks for Kids program, go to our website, WLOS.com, and click on News Links.